get started. Now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class, creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. <gasps> hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. Oh, It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a sense, sense. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Barrack and Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my Betty Orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Hmm, now how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh no, my jam! Where'd it go? <laughs> Cake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. 
I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. Hello? Orange? Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange? Are you all right back there? I'm fine. Uh, just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself. Thank you. Anytime, strawberry. And oh, my. I was going to put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. <coughs> it's me, Marmalade. <coughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Hmm, with all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Uh, 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 hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some sprinkles? Uh, sure. Uh, help yourself. Uh, I've got to get back to my... Come on. Are you okay? <coughs> I, uh, I'm fine. <coughs> All that flour for one cupcake? Oh. I've got some major rethinking to do. Blueberry? Oh, oh hi, Strawberry. What's new? Um, not much, I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrack and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrack and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrack and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah. Let's hide. It's Barrack and Bloom. Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you -uh. uh, must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrack and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But... How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, 
running <laughs> and shouting. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, my stars! What an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember... Uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, worry. then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can you team up with the ice cream or a dry right. cake. If blueberries are a bigger the cake cupcake, too, then mine will be bigger sour. too. And the presentation. Oh no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? Oh. <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey! That's it! I'll make a Pupcake Cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard, please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big, but isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Can me you! you? Yes. So that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the... 
uh, Gentlemen's Diversion Club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry, this club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Now, when was this club established? It's after me! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! The lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Can Bloom. Well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, oh, 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 dear. I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes. But this, a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep, <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever seen? What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come there's a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going to <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... what happened to you? 
well, it's like this. You see, we were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh, the ceremony started. You better get up there. The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, why, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but... It has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> no, come here, you. <laughs> uh, special delivery for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. Oh, great, thanks. Oh, please, <laughs> Wow, it's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. Oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's go Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. It's the boss! Oh, you! Wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Wait! I got it! That gadget we got? We just didn't get it. Get it? Got it! What was that? Uh, what was what? <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, just Barrykin Byron installing a new set of lug nuts. Very large lug nuts. Raspberry, watch out! <laughs> I lost again. <gasps> You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Just... Okay. So, last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable... Well, incredible. Um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well. Darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Berry Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. 
And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well, maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame, the fortune, the fans. Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes, uh, well, I guess. Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes, yes, starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> You have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come yeah! on! <laughs> Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh! Hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very big city motor parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, uh, uh, uh Strawberry, uh, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? Uh... We should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both! Better to be prepared. Good luck! Well, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck. Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. <laughs> Plum's turn. Fumbling boysenberries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? 
<laughs> uh, wow. I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Make way for the future fashion star of very big city, the fabulous ra 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 Raspberry. Oh. Rawr. She eats up the fashion scene. Oh uh. <gasps> dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> Raspberry! Love that show. What an... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Glad Scarlet Cummerbunds! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends and... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll, Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, 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 ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, ra, okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Oh, uh, hello? Uh, Sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. Oh, this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Jerry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. 
Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Jerry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time. We know you gotta go and live your dream. We've been together for so long. You not here will feel so wrong. But time goes on and we have our said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. <laughs> and I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, Sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. <laughs> Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Ball race. <laughs> That's where we're going. The very bitty city Race. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Uh, wait. If it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us. Let's go back and restart the race. Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, 
I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh! Oh, I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure! Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. No, Custard, this isn't for you. <laughs> Come on, Custard, down you go. So, you just squeeze the bag gently. Make the frosting come out as you go. Like so. Oh, nice! Really nice. You're so good at that. Oh, pretty. <laughs> just takes a little practice. Anyone want to try? Lemon? Oh, I just know I'm going to mess up your pretty cake. Don't worry. No matter what it looks like, it'll taste the same. Hey, these don't look half bad. Whoa! Ah! Well, <laughs> she didn't mess up the cake. Oh, I apologize for bursting in. I'm just excited because I have some special news. Sounds like something very special. What is it? We Berrykins are bringing back an old Berrykin tradition, the Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. Oh, I remember hearing about that. I don't. What is it? The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby used to happen every year. American drivers race their cars around a track for a championship trophy. Oh, that sounds neat. Uh, why did they stop doing it? We got too busy with the harvest for a few years. Everyone sort of forgot about it. It's a shame. You sure seem to have high hopes for it now. Oh, yes. It used to be so much fun. If things go well this year, maybe it could become a regular event again. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice for you. Why do you keep frosting me? Do I look like a cake? <laughs> you do now. The Berrykins are getting the racetrack ready. Would you girls be willing to arrange all the social events that happen before the race? Sure will. Yeah! <laughs> It'll be fun! Absolutely. Oh, uh, if I remember correctly, the derby was very formal with a lot of peculiar traditions. Yes, that's true. There are some very formal manners associated with the derby. Manners that we rarely use in everyday life. Uh, you might want to... Oh, girls, I'm sorry I'm late. I was researching cake decorations and forgot about the time. Is the demonstration over? Blueberry, you interrupted the princess. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I didn't see you. That's all right, Blueberry. 
Now, as I was saying, manners! <laughs> I'm sorry, Blueberry. I was only kidding. You gave me a perfect opportunity for a joke. Yes, we all know it's very unlike you to be late or interrupt. I was just about to say to you all, you might want to brush up on the traditions and etiquette of the Derby while you're preparing. Here's a schedule of the events to be planned. Thanks again. You're welcome, Princess. Planning? What are we planning? The Biddy Berry Buggy Derby. You mean the old Berry Can Car Race? I've read about that. Great! You can help us plan the events. The introduction ceremonies, where the drivers show off their cars. Oh, and the buggy ball. Oh, I bet everyone gets to dress up. Decorations for race day itself? I've got some great stuff in my store. <sighs> Let's make this the best derby anyone's ever seen. For the princess. Yeah, so she can get her wish to have it every year. <laughs> Actually, that's starting to be my wish. I want to help the princess too. It would help me make up for having such bad manners and interrupting her. Don't worry, Blueberry. You're about to become our resident manners expert. Me? Of course. I'm sure you're the only one here who would have a book about derby etiquette. You know, proper manners and behavior for the derby. Actually, I think I just might. <gasps> well, it took a while to find, but... The Big Book of Berry Bitty Buggy Behavior. This should tell us how to act in any buggy derby situation. Ooh, look! It says that on Berry Bitty Buggy Day, everyone is supposed to bow before talking to the princess. Why? Nobody usually bows to her. It's a formality. Kind of... a special set of manners just for the occasion. But aren't manners something you do to make people feel comfortable? Yeah, if the princess isn't usually uncomfortable when we don't bow, why would she be uncomfortable now? Well, it's also a tradition, which is a way to show respect for how things used to be done. Oh, here you go. For the introduction ceremony, it's traditional to wear one pink flower. Why pink? It may not match my outfit that day. Because that was the favorite color of Princess Bertha Berrykin, who had the idea for the race. It's kind of a way of thanking her. Oh, that does sound nice. Okay, so we gotta remember to bow, wear a pink flower. What happens if we forget and do something wrong? It's okay, Blueberry. Don't worry about being perfect. We'll just do our best. Now, let's go. We've got lots to do. But keep researching, Blueberry, and we'll see you later. See you Bye. later, Blueberry. I don't care what Strawberry says. I don't want to goof up in front of the princess ever again. The Derby is the perfect opportunity for me to prove I can have perfect manners. The stage looks beautiful, girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby Berrykin. What's up? Tradition. Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Speaking of traditions, Ooh, 
I hope I can remember all the ones in the ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Huh? Okay, bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look, here they come! <laughs> car have three bows on it. Oh, I know, I know. Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas, time for the umbrellas. Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby drivers. <laughs> Present our esteemed derby drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. <gasps> I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I've made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> <laughs> This evening. Uh, well, th thank, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're also looking. Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss Pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me. Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible so everything goes well. For the princess? Don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Blue. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the derby ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, um, uh, Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But 
But you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh. Oh, it's okay. No one can see me. But somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There. Perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry. I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. Go, go, go! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happened yet. I know, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to cheer. Crumbling Muffins Blueberry, you look exhausted. What happened? Oh, late night. Up studying. What were you studying? All the different times that it's good manners to say please and... <gasps> oh, thank you. What is it? I yawned! At the derby! I yawned! Oh, Strawberry, do you think anyone saw me? The book says that's terrible manners. I really think it's okay to yawn. Uh, what? What? Raspberry is standing in front of someone shorter than she is. She may be rudely blocking his view. Bad manners! Bad manners! Bad manners! Uh-oh. Manners maniac coming our way. Quick, hide! Where'd they go? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. Hello, everyone. It's just about time for the race to begin. Before we begin, I just want to let everyone know we Berrykins could not have done this race without the help of Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. <laughs> wanted to say, I've so enjoyed having the race back again. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Maybe next year we can repeat it. So without further ado, I believe it's time for us to start. Oh no, that driver is about to interrupt while the princess is talking. The worst manners mistake ever, and I should know. Driver, don't interrupt when the princess is talking. It's bad. <gasps> oh! Oh no! But um, all, all I was trying to say is, we we can't start the race because this driver has a flat tire. Oh dear! Oh my! I I guess I wasn't paying attention. Thank you for letting us know, sir. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, no. Please don't leave. I was only trying to... Oh. Oh. But it was bad manners. But pointing it out to him in front of everybody, it hurt his feelings. And now he won't even come out of the cafe. And it's holding up the race. The rules say they can't start unless all the drivers are there. But I was just trying to make sure everything went well. I mean, why is the driver upset? He's the one who goofed up his manners. Um, actually, Blueberry, it's even worse manners to correct someone's bad manners in front of other people. Oh, no. I've been doing that to all of you, haven't I? Well, not exactly. I mean, not really. I mean, uh... Yes. Yes! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course. 
course, Blueberry. We understand. Learning the right manners can be very confusing. Oh, and I better apologize to the driver, too. Now that's good manners. Excuse me, sir. I just... I mean... I wanted to apologize for embarrassing you like I did. In front of everybody. I was nervous and just was trying too hard to make everything go right. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I know what you mean about being nervous. This is the first race I've ever been in. <laughs> I was pretty nervous, too. Well, do you think there's any chance you might be willing to go back and finish the race? Yep. I'd say those chances are pretty good. Sorry, the race was just so exciting, I forgot. I'm so glad you guys can understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. <laughs> now, that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens. No, 
It's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, so Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts... Well, that makes me happy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right? It's perfect! <laughs> yeah, with these stars! <laughs> Strawberry. <sighs> Morning, Apple. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Mm. What's going on? I'm getting messages from all over the world. People wanting to order Strawberry's famous O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise. How did it get to be famous? Oh, uh, I think I can answer that question. May I? Um, sure. <laughs> hey, that's my O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise. Famous O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise. That's my new food review section on my Berry Best Bits site. I call it Yummy Yums. And the honor of my first food review went to you. Berry Bitty City, home to Strawberries Cafe, premiered a fantastically fabulous dessert. Yours truly was honored to be first to dip a spoon in the ultimate taste treat. <laughs> O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise. Delectably delicious, delightful flavor, taste-tempting texture, a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. <laughs> you have to try it to believe it. Oh, Apple, you're so sweet. Ah, oh, thanks, Strawberry. And every word of it is true. Like I say on my Berry Best Bits page, I call them like I taste them. And I've tasted them all around the Berry Bitty world. What can I say? Your desserts are incredible. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm just sorry I have to disappoint all your readers. What do you mean? I'm getting messages from people all over the world trying to place orders for my O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises. And I... Oh, here's another one. I'll have to tell them it's only available here at my cafe. Wait, wait, wait. No, what if it's not only available at your cafe? What? Where else? 24-7, around the globe. All dessert, all the time. That's it! Huh? O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise! What if people can get it everywhere? Delivered right to their door! You mean, like a mail-order business? Exactly! They order your dessert online, you mail it to them. Do you think that many people would really want to order my... How many's that? 112. Just so far this morning. And just for that one dessert. But why just one dessert? Strawberry, all your desserts are great. Think of it. You and Sweet and Sour could make them. I'll taste test them and review them in my Berry Best Bits page. And we ship them all over the world. What do you think? I think it sounds... big. Big? It's colossal! I can see it now. The Berry Bitty Cookery Company. Fresh desserts direct from Strawberry's Kitchen to your door. What do you think? Well, it sounds... wonderful! 172! Are we gonna tell them no? Or are we going to... fill those orders? Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five Yummy Yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. 
And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call them like I taste them. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Grape, grape, grandy. Mmm. <sighs> Strawberry, you have done it again! Simple words fail to describe the great goodness. The incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Chew! Morning, Strawberry! A delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple! Uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your great grape grandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. <laughs> great, thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, 10 Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, 17 Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. Oh, uh, almost forgot. New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting. Problem. Saying things exactly, that's a who, no, uh. It's kind of like a what do you say when you want to say something but can't find the right words problem. Oh, I understand. So, what kind of things do you want to say? Well, <laughs> see, that's right there, another problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I got to find some other words to say instead. I think I have something that'll help. You do, you do. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. 
You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar. And the ones that mean the opposite. Whoa. And this one? This is my trusty dictionary. Tells you what all the words mean. Whoa! Look at all these words! Isn't it incredible? Thousands, thousands of words. Any words you need, what they mean, how to spell them, how to say them. I mean, it's just... Uh. Enjoy! Oh, Blueberry, thanks! I'll bring them back as soon as I'm done! What can I possibly say about Strawberry's new Very Berry Spice Royale cake? Words simply fail to describe it. Its color is beautifully exquisite, glamorously captivating. Its creamy texture is creamier than any texture I've ever experienced. Soft and silky as a cloud. Yes, dessert lovers, I can tell you definitely, absolutely, and for sure, one taste of Very Berry Spice Royale will prove indubitably and irrefutably that it is an out-of-the-ordinary, unexpected, and may I say, unique cake-eating experience. This is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Sounds like she loved it. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to get a bigger thesaurus before she runs out of words. Hi, Strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very Berry Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Pretty better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Very Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is Strawberry Shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania. <gasps> She saw Apple's review of my Very Berry Spice Royale cake. She wants to order one for her inaugural ball. <laughs> Big enough to feed a hundred people! <gasps> oh, oh, <that's> <laughs> well, we'd better get busy. Higher! Higher! Trust me, I'm trying! Hi, Blueberry. Brought your books back. Thanks, Apple. Did they help? Yep, perfectly. Problem solved. Well, looks like the mail order business is booming. And it's thanks to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Just calling them like I chased them. Oh, don't be modest. You know royalty is reading your very best bits page? No, come on. They're delivering a 16-layer cake that the Queen of Berryvania ordered for her inaugural ball. Wow, that's great! <gasps> uh, do you happen to know uh, what, what kind of cake it was? Very Berry Spice Royale, the one you raved about in your review. when the purple puff petals close and my nose can none stuff. <laughs> I bet it's nice to be able to smell and taste your own cooking again. Is it ever. I couldn't even... Berry Bitty Cookery Company, desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speak... Oh, hello, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Burnt berry biscuits! Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty, but... Yes? Uh, yes, of course. I'll take care of everything. Strawberry? What is it? Tell you later. It's the cake. The Queen's cake. I gotta go! Trying. 
Put it back together again? you the truth. I should have told you the truth, too. Apple? What are you doing here? Tell me the truth about what? Your cake. I just couldn't find a way to say what was wrong with it, so I found a way to say everything that was right about it and left the bad news part out. What bad news part? The cake didn't taste very good. It didn't? No! Don't do that! Why? What's wrong with it? <laughs> So that's what happened. What? I put in persimmon pepper instead of persimmon powder. They're right next to each other on my spice rack. With my nose stuffed up, I couldn't smell the difference. Hi, sweet. Strawberry. No, everything's fine, but we're going to need another cake. I'm on my way back to help you. Uh, thanks. See you in a few. Strawberry, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to protect your reputation. It's okay, Apple. You never have to be afraid to tell me the truth about what you think of my cooking, good or bad. Just call them like you taste them. News reports from last night's exclusive inaugural ball for the Queen of Berryvania say it was the event of the year. Lots of high fashion, ballroom full of famous royalty, gigantic dinner attended by blah, blah, blah. Ah, here. The Queen herself proclaimed the highlight of the evening was the sumptuous dessert from Berry Bitty City, Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Berry Spice Royale Cake. The most delicious I have ever tasted. Another order for Very Berry Spice Royale! Mm. <laughs> Later. Mm, mm, mm. Right now, we're all on a cake break. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, so yeah! Good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody! Strawberry! Hiya. Hi, Strawberry! Hi, oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent...
excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all gonna look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. <laughs> Oh, here, let me... Uh, I got it, I got it! Here, look at that! Okay, hold still. There, got it! <laughs> no, it's great! It looks great! It's never looks better! I love it! it sure does! Wait, wait, wait! <sighs> Perfect! Ooh, thanks! I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Oh. Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. That... Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface! Uh, oh! Okay, down, please. Uh, uh. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Merang. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed, due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah! yeah so it's nice. Nice. Really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, oh, there's no telling where it would end up. I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. Scissors. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. <gasps> oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. That's your service. Let's get to work. We weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love this oh, yeah. really yeah. beautiful yeah. day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> But all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry.
Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The Salonomatic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the Salonomatic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! me. I'm me. Do me, me, me! Incredible. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing. They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow. Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, 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 Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing. Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends. Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things, as well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean matic does it while I'm away. It keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean matic Hey, does anybody need a, uh, you know, trim a manicure? Anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Thanks, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yes! Ah! Ah! Okay. Well then, uh, bye, I guess. enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie, and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the clean matic next? <laughs> of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemon's a natural. Oh, I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's
that's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone, and we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean... How many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. Lemon Meringue's Ferry Boat is open for business! Watch your step, please. All ashore. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. Goodbye. Delightful trip. Thanks, Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. That was wonderful. We'll be back. Wow. Another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? Uh, oh. We wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello again. Hi. Hello. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the Salonomatic did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! <gasps> now it won't even do anything! What a bust! Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time! 
Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Um, how did we get where? We just wanted you to stay. But it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One. The machine is lousy at conversation, and boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers, and it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst. It never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your ferry. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the Salonomatic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, no! Oh, my. Sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's Croquet Club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, 
Oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. Cucumber cooler, yam surprise, cantaloupe chips, side of slaw, two sides of slaw, and one chopped celery cup. Anytime you're ready, Strawberry. What are you guys doing? A music track for Strawberry's birthday video. I'm putting it together like a birthday memory album so Strawberry can post it on our very best bits page. Huh. Want to try one more before lunch? <laughs> if we can do the narration without giggling this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I see that scene of me with the feathers... <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Serious? <laughs> Serious. <sighs> Let's roll one. Strawberry Shortcake Birthday Memories video, take three. Rolling! Really, I thought it would be just like any other day. Because I'd forgotten what day it was. But I was about to be reminded. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it began with breakfast in bed. But that was only the start. You see, this is what we do for each other on all our birthdays. We try to give them their perfect day. We have a holiday. <laughs> oh. special day, thanks to some very special friends. But it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. <laughs> have a birthday like that. <sighs> Mine are never fun. How come? Gotta share them with my sister, sweet. Just once I wish I could have a birthday all my own. But I guess that's never, ever, never gonna happen. Uh, how come? Oh, <laughs> yeah, cause she's your twin. Her birthday's always gonna be your birthday too. Wow, looks good. Thanks, Sour. <gasps> oh, and please thank Sweet, too. <sighs> but it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. 
Oh, that's so cute. Here comes the part where Strawberry kept <laughs> cracking up. <laughs> Which turned into <laughs> a pillow fight. <laughs> oh, hi, Sour. Hi. I would have cleaned all this up. It was my day. It was our day. It was the very best of days. And there. Saved into Strawberry's birthday memory album. Aw, Apple, that is so sweet. Sour, you gotta see. Seen it. That was an incredible birthday you guys gave Strawberry. We try to make everyone's birthday wishes come true. And I happen to know two birthdays that are coming up. Oh, wow. You mean ours? Thanks again for lunch, Sour. Uh. You just talk to your sister when she um, feels like talking again. Figure out what you'd like to do for the day and send out invitations. We'll take care of the rest. Really? I bet Sour would like to go trail riding. It's her favorite. Or I wonder if she'd want... Oh, I already know what Sour wants. Well, you do? What is it? Huh? Oh, she said all she wanted was for once to have a birthday all her own. <gasps> her own? Yeah, huh? When did she say that? Today. She said she's sick and tired of sharing a birthday every year uh, and... Apple, could you help me with this? Yeah, hold on, Strab. Just want it. Ha, ah, there it is. Did she say anything else? Sure. Like, her dream of having her birthday all to herself is never, ever, never, ever, never... Hold on. What was I saying? Um, helping never, me. Never, ever? Yeah. Never, ever, ever gonna happen because you're like twins and your birthday will forever be on the same day kind of stuff. <gasps> she seemed kind of sad about it. Oh. What's wrong with her? Um... Oh, Apple, why did you tell her that? What? What Sour said? Because... Because she said it. But... She's even sadder than Sour was. Oh, no. Is it because I told her what Sour said? But then why didn't she just say it was a secret? Some things aren't meant to be repeated, even if they aren't an official secret. But... but then... How are you supposed to know when it's okay to repeat what you've heard and when it isn't okay? Sometimes that's a tough one to answer. Oh, I don't get it. I mean, I spent the whole month on Berry Berry Island and everybody there tells everybody everything. Sour? Can I talk to you about your birthday? You mean our birthday? I have this condition called twin sister, in case you hadn't noticed. Not this year. What do you mean? This year, I'm giving you an early birthday present. Oh, please don't let it be matching jumpsuits again. No, no. My present to you this year is a birthday all your own. Say that again. This year, I'm giving up celebrating my birthday so you can have the day for yourself. Is this like that time you found 10,001 knock-knock jokes on the berry web and thought they were so funny you read them to me for 11 hours straight? This is no joke. Your party, your presents, your birthday. F uh, f f for real? For real. Because of me and my loose lips. Morning, Orange. Hey, quick. Gotta mail something important here. Special delivery. Birthday's tomorrow. Invitations. Uh, gotta go out. Step on it. Here, here. Got him? Great. Wait, stop, stop. You forgot Orange. My birthday. You're invited.
What's this? Wow! Did you see all of the activities Sour has planned for her birthday? It's going to be bigger than strawberries. It's going to be the biggest birthday in Berry Bitty City's history! Where's Sweet's name? Hey, Sweet! How come your name's not on here? Not on where? On your birthday invitation? What birthday invitation? Yours! This birthday invitation only has Sour on it. That's because it's from Sour, not me. That's my present to Sour this year. Her own birthday without me. Oh, let me get you lemonade. Her own day, her own party, her own presents. Can you believe that? What a sweet thing to do. Looks like she's got a really fun day planned for you guys. Well, for you too, right? Not exactly. You mean she... Well, she invited you, right? <sighs> no, she doesn't have to. It's her birthday, and I want her to have it her way. Oh, there I go again. Are you sure that's what you want? Sure. It's my present to my sister. Sweet. I just gotta say, what you're doing has to be the most giving birthday present anyone has ever given. <laughs> Thanks, Strawberry. See you later. Bye. Oh, is that nice or what? I vote what? This is all my fault. If only I hadn't blabbed. But Sweet wants to do it. Sure, but only because I spilled the cheese. Spilled the cheese? Yeah, you know, let the cat out of the hat. Do you mean <laughs> let the cat out of the bag? Yeah, yeah. That's what Plum said. And she's right. I guess... Oh, Berry Bummy Bayou, they say let the nuts out of the shell. It's hard to keep these different customs straight. Well, that's all water under the... Chimney! Bridge? bridge? On Berry Berry Island, they say chimney. It's just an expression. Well, I'm not expressing myself ever again. I get everyone in trouble and make them feel bad. Now, come on. Let's think of something fun, like uh, the, all the things Sour has planned for tomorrow. Let's see the invitation. Uh, what invitation? The one you're <laughs> holding. Um, well, what if I was invited but you weren't? And then I tell you and you find out. Oh, busted bumpers. You see what I mean? But I was invited. That's how I know what the item is that you're hiding behind your back. Apple, it's okay to show me. You sure? <gasps> Look at all the fun things we're gonna do. Without sweet, thanks to me. should have all your favorite things and be perfect. Is something wrong, Sour? Uh, no. This is just... Everything is just perfect. Nope. 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 <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No. Um. Nah. No. Uh-uh. No. 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 Nope. No. Sorry. No.
Strawberry! Where's Strawberry? Oh, there you are. We got a problem. The birthday's going bad. What's the problem? Uh, hard to say. It's less of a what and more of a who. Oh, uh, who's the problem? That's what's hard to say. Why? Because if I tell you, I might get someone in trouble. Who? Sour! <gasps> I let the cheese out of the bag. I mean, I spilled the cat. Apple, I think it's okay for you to tell me. Ugh, Sour isn't having a good time. The more we do for her, the more unhappy she gets. Something's wrong, but none of us can figure out what. Uh-oh. Sweet made me promise to make Sour's birthday perfect. I'm glad you told me, Apple. Time to call for reinforcements. Phew. Have you ever seen anything so hysterical? <laughs> sweet? Uh, you, you didn't, didn't invite, invite her. her. I, I meant strawberry. Have you ever seen anything? <sighs> Did I say. <laughs> I, I meant strawberry. Did I say sweet? <laughs> Whoa, easy boy. Riding's your favorite sport, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Fun. Whoa, doesn't look like you're having fun. No, it's been great. I just... <sighs> something's missing. But I think I know how to fix it. Can you help me with something back at the cafe? Sure. Giddy up, let's go. Come on, boy. <laughs> Are you going? I'm sorry, sweet. This is awfully awkward. I looked at the time and I gotta go change for, you know, Sour's birthday party. Plum, it's okay. Go, go have fun. I'm fine. I'm enjoying myself here. I'm sorry, but I, I have to say it. Say what? Well, I know I shouldn't say it because it's your sister and all, but I... No, I've got to get it off my chest. I mean, what sister doesn't invite a sister to a sister's birthday party on a sister's birthday? It, it's just wrong. That's all. It, it's just... Oh, I don't get it. It's... It's not nice. Plum, I am absolutely fine with it. It was my idea. How often do you get the opportunity to give someone what they truly want for their birthday? And like you said, she's my sister. And her having a perfect birthday means everything to me. <sighs> You're amazing. Being so sweet. I just... You go get changed. I'll finish my kiwi smoothie. Okay, but I still feel bad leaving you here. Sweet! Sweet! Oh, good. Strawberry said you'd probably be here. Hi, Plum. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh... What is it? Apple, what is it? Uh, um, Strawberry told me to tell you something and not to tell you something else. Uh-huh. So? But I'm not so sure which part is which. There's definitely a possibility here that I could spill what? Web. Oh, wreck everything. Is the right which part about... The cafe? Uh, is it about... The next travel report on your Barry webpage? Uh. Well, I don't know. Thought it was worth a guess. Is it about... My sister's birthday? Ah! That's it! That's what I'm supposed to tell you. You, sweet, are cordially invited to Sour's birthday party at the cafe! But I'm not saying anything else! Lips are sunk. I mean, sealed. Not another word. Not a single word. I'm not putting my foot near my mouth ever. Not blabbing anything. Not getting anyone in any trouble, which is why you won't hear a word from me. Not a single word. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 just, just like that. that. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you guys, what is this? Uh, 
birthday party decorations? Oh, yeah, but they're my favorite color, not sours. Ugh, guys! This isn't the music she likes. We've got to change it. Wait, want to cut the cake? Sour's the birthday girl. She gets to do that. Will you do it, sweet? Oh, Sour, happy birthday. Okay, I'll do it, if you want me to. Uh-oh, this is angel food cake. Sour doesn't like this kind of cake. It's my favorite. Because it's your party. I'm giving your birthday back to you. Everybody did wonderful things to make my birthday perfect, but something was missing. It was my sister. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a birthday without you. There's still plenty of birthday left today. Let's share it together. Happy birthday, sweet and sour!